guys another episode of 18 fishing with your host Grant Wally that's who I am you guys are obviously the viewers and being the viewers you've seen the past couple weeks I've been slaying the perch uh, caught my personal best but now this video is gonna kinda roll in there and be a little bit different instead of catching cuz you've all seen me catch them I'm gonna cook them so I got a catch and cook for perch coming right now just stay tuned I gotta actually go to the grocery store because I forgot <laughs> the fish crisps or fish crisps. Wow, that's really hard to say. Or I'm just stupid. Fish crisp. So we'll be right back. Let's get to cooking. So when you're getting ready to do your perch, there's a few things you're going to need that are necessities, including a strainer, the perch, cutting board and fillet knife, and then your Cajun fish crisp. Now the simplest way to cutting these fish up, come in behind the gill right here. I've already cut down a little bit. You might bleed a little bit. Follow the cut all the way back. It's okay if you get bones in there because the next step will remove them. You can see I have a very nice cut fillet right here now. Also the bloodline to the rib cage. This is in the next part. See right here, right there. We're gonna have to cut the rib cage out. Get the skin off. And then we got one part of a fillet. Now with that rib line I showed you, all I'm going to do is slowly put around it, just like that. And this is what I like to do, I'll angle cut it. Now that I have that figured out, and look at that, ribs gone and there's no bones left. There is a tiny bit of meat there that you could get. Not very much, but I'm just going to toss that. And then lastly, to finish your one side of the fillet, pinch it down. And this part, you're just removing the skin. There's a fillet right there. Half of a perch right there. Now i got about 17 other ones to do. And then we'll see the final. So I probably just cut up around 24 fish. Obviously I'm not going to eat them all today. Uh, I don't want to get greedy and I want to feed some friends later on. So I'm going to pick out what I want for now and then it's going to be dipped in the good stuff. Now it's not a necessity and if you don't have eggs that's okay. But the egg allows the fish crisp to stick to the fish better, so I'm going to crack a few. Now we dip our fish. Now, 
the fun stuff. You're going to take your, what kind of oil is this? We got vegetable oil today. You can use canola, whatever you want. Fill that bottom of the pan. Should be good there. Take out your fish fillets. And then all I'm going to do, see the eggs, dip it in the egg, soak it up, drop in the Cajun, flip it, and obviously I'm going to let it chill there for a sec because the oil needs to heat up. Now the fish itself doesn't take long. All I'm going to do, take my first little fillet, lay her down in there, along with a few other ones. Cook it on slow though, leave it on there three minutes probably. Obviously rotating the sides. And then you're good to go. You know, I just couldn't eat without the twisted tea. Half and half. Always a go. Like background, a bunch of family photos. Me fishing. Just me with my first dog, Charlie. Uncle Buck. Pop, or, Grandpa. Dad. The fish that got me hooked on fishing. I thought it was an ideal spot for this. Alright. Let's bite into this stuff. We got our normal fish, brisket with fish. Let's try the fish out first. It's pretty good, real good. Oh yeah, it's definitely Cajun, a little bit of spice to it after. I'm telling you. I don't eat fish a whole lot. The only time I do is when I'm ice fishing. And it's mainly perch or walleye. But if you haven't had perch or walleye done up anywhere, you gotta try it out. It's so good. Why is that twisted to you? If you're not 21, don't drink. I'm 21. I mean, if you're not 19, we're in Canada. I think it's time for this sandwich. Oh, let me put the plate down. Oh my god. That's the best fish sandwich I've ever had. Gordon Ramsay would love that. Well, give an update right now. Should have this video out in a week. It's what's it say on the calendar there? It's the first weekend of February. Next weekend, I'm going out with my buddy Brian up north in Halliburton. We're going for rainbows. Never caught a rainbow before, but it'd be pretty cool to do it through the ice. And then once spring comes around, hopefully, do the same. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of A Team Fishing with your host. Grant Wally, this guy right there. Like always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I've gained a lot of subscribers recently, probably due to my Simcoe Jumbo videos, but thumbs up. Thank you, subscribers, for watching. Viewers, don't be afraid to hit that button. But like always, we will catch you on the next 18th episode. I forgot <laughs> the fish crisps or er, fish crisps. Wow, that's really hard to say. Or I'm just stupid. Fish crisp.